focus of an orchestra Dozen black roses, energy of rock groups Symphonies explosive, half the appetite That's the sacrifice, that's the... Hey guys, Canadian Shisha here from uh, hookahpro.com I'm uh, coming to you guys with a uh, double review I'm going to do a Shisha review and an accessory review um, Today I am doing a review on the new Najum hose from 5 Star Hookah It's the official 5 Star Hookah hose um, this was uh, sent to me um, courtesy of Alex from Five Star Hookah. He uh, really hooked me up this time, and uh, shout out to the Godfather. Um, all right, man. Um, also, in the bowl, I am uh, doing a review on the new 421. Uh, this is Grape Chardonnay, and I'll tell you guys, this stuff is unbelievable. So I'll hit you guys up with a review on that in a little bit. But first, let's get to this hose. Um, as you guys can see, it's uh, built a lot like a, a Namar hose is. Um, it's got the uh, removable tip. It's a washable hose, which is awesome completely. Um, it's got this really sick, um, like, tightened ribbon that goes all the way around the uh, coils. And uh, it looks sick. I mean, it's, uh, it really gives it that, that kind of oomph. It's like a, a Namar hose, but like all done up in its Sunday's best. I mean, it is badass. Um, so yeah, I really like it. As I said, uh, it's got the little Najum logo right there. It's awesome. Um, I do notice a difference between the Namar and the, uh, the uh, Najum though. Um, I'll explain it to you guys. Let me just plug up in here right now. All right. Uh, right now I'm smoking off of my KM Tri-Metal 2 hose port. I got a plug in the far side there. I've got my 7 Eco Tangiers bowl and I've got my uh, wind cover with uh, three Exotica Silver tabs. Um, let me show you guys the, uh, <clears throat> the pull on this thing. And it's in the pull that I noticed the biggest difference between the Namar and the Najum. The Najum has a wider, uh, it feels like a wider gauge. It's a, a less restricted pull. I get the same pull out of this that I do out of a, uh, like a new hose. Um, just a completely open, um, open gauge. It is a sick, sick hose. And uh, again, Alex, man, I got to say... Um, a, you outdid yourself. Um, you guys came up with an amazing hose. It looks sick, and uh, it's got a great gauge, a great pull on it. So I am freaking sold on that. Never buy another Namar, Namar hose again. I'm sticking with the Najum. And uh, yeah, I mean it's uh, it's built really well. It's uh, it's really uh, solid, and it's washable, so you can't go wrong with that. Um, yeah, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10, easy. Uh, it's awesome, and uh, it looks great. So, um, you know, there is zero to complain about on this. Um, now, let's get into this uh, <clears throat> 421. Let's get into this 421 Shisha review. Um, now, it does come in a resealable bag, which is actually really awesome. Um, the problem is, though, is the uh, bottom blew out in the shipping. So, uh, I had to put it in uh, one of my... Uh, Tupperware containers. Um, it's got a story on the back there. Uh, you can't read it, but uh, what I'll do is I'll type out the little story in the description, video description, and uh, you guys can uh, read it there. It's basically like a, an epic tale of two guys who create the greatest hookah and how 421 is the national uh, hookah smoking day. So, um, anyways, uh, like I said, Grape Chardonnay. Uh, big thing of pictures there with some uh, wine and uh, I really I really like it so far it's a uh, uh, wash tobacco the only downfall to this stuff is it's dyed um, which isn't a big deal to most people but I just uh, I like natural tobacco but um, the cut is to be honest with you guys it's exactly like Fantasia except this stuff I find is the wettest juiciest tobacco I've ever ever had in my life. Um, I must have, it must have leaked out half its juice in my box and still completely ridiculously wet and uh, juicy. Um, tiny, tiny stems in there, um, but no real big leaves, which is, which is quite nice. Um, sorry, uh, let me get in a smell here for you guys because uh, this grape Chardonnay is actually ridiculous, so.
Now, you do get a really uh, sweet grape um, smell in there. Really, uh, really sweet. It's got a natural undertone to it as well. And uh, it's got a, a fermented uh, wine undernote, which is really cool because I've actually always wanted to try a wine shisha, but um, there's never been one for me to buy. So um, I, was, I jumped on this the second I saw it. Um, but yeah, it, it smells. It's like a very sweet um, uh, grape wine. Um, it's kind of like a wine spritzer, basically. It's very, very delicious smelling. And uh, I will show you guys uh, some more clouds here, and then we'll get into the flavor as well for you. Now this has only been going for about 15-20 minutes, so uh, I'm sure the clouds will get a little bit bigger than that. Um, it's a little bit windy as well, so you guys might not be able to see the full effect of the clouds. I am smoking outside as usual. Um, but I'd still say great clouds. I'd say right up there with maybe a good Fumari cut, Fantasia cut, good clouds. Um, 8 out of 10. Um, but the flavor is uh, it's bold and explosive, so I'll, uh, I'll take a few hits here and explain the flavor for you guys. It's uh, a little bit more complex than uh, you know the the other modern shishas that I've smoked. It uh, it does have a very like on the inhale it's very sweet, very uh, grape, um, but. On the exhale and the aftertaste, you do get a really cool, like uh, fermented, like wine flavor. It's uh, it's delicious. Um, yeah, it, it, a little hint of maybe like a candied grape, um, but uh, I don't know. It's it's not anything like Tangier's uh, little purple candy. Not that uh, not that much of a candy flavor. Just a tiny bit of sweetness with that uh, that wine. Uh, fermentation flavor it's really good um, sweet uh, like I said very bold um, you'll be able to tell exactly what it is right away um, the flavor is amazing um, I would recommend um, this is the only 421 that I've tried but so far I will definitely pick up some more um, it's sold in 250 gram packages um, but really man just delicious uh, and very very bold and solid um, I'll take a couple more hits here for you oh yeah the clouds are better I mean if I was using a small Tangiers funnel and uh, some Coco Jamras I'm sure that the uh, the clouds would be right up there, um, like a 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10 thundercloud for sure. Um, but yeah, there's not much else I can say. It is delicious. Um, and yeah, I would, I would say go pick it up. Grape Chardonnay, it's uh, kind of a one-of-a-kind flavor right now. And uh, definitely something to throw in the mix. Um, it's not too sweet, so I could see myself smoking this a couple times a week, no problem. And uh, I would see this being a huge hit if you're going out smoking with friends or like at a party or something. I could see this being a huge hit, guys. Great, great flavor. Um, you know, like I said, five-star hookah guys, they hooked me up with the hose. And uh, great deals on Shisha. I mean, they've got a huge, huge uh, selection. They've got everything. Uh, shout out again to the, the godfather, Alex. Um, you know, hookah cartel, guys, uh, wait for that. That's going to be huge. Um, and if you're not a member at hookahpro.com yet, check them out. Um, and yeah, rate, comment, rate, subscribe. Check my YouTube channel out. I'm going to be coming out with a huge amount of uh, shisha uh, reviews. I got a bunch of Nirvana flavors, um, a Naka flavor, and another Tangiers flavor. So expect another good 10 videos. And uh, anyways... Um, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Fascinating landscape, my mind's machinery. The danger's imminent, the razor blades are intricately placed inside our mouths. We spit them out into belligerent. A blessed array, decrepit decay, an epic display. Be selective of the records you play in the black marble.